The digestive system involves the intake of food, its digestion, absorption, assimilation, and elimination. Enzymes help achieve this process. They play a significant role in the digestive system by breaking down large macromolecules into micromolecules for our body to absorb the nutrients from our food into the bloodstream. Enzymes act on specifically localized areas of the digestive system where they have different functions in each region. The major organs in the digestive system where they act upon include the mouth, the stomach, the pancreas, and the intestines. The process of digestion begins in the mouth with the consumption of food. When food is being chewed in the mouth, the oral cavity, which contains salivary glands, acts on the food with saliva. Salivary glands are divided into three major pairs. These include the parotid gland, the submandibular, and the sublingual gland. The glands collectively produce saliva, which acts as a lubricant in initiating the process of digestion. Amylase is an enzyme which catalyzes the hydrolysis of carbohydrate starches into simple sugars. This reaction is a hydrolysis reaction and therefore releases water. Amylase is produced both in the pancreas and in the salivary glands. Another enzyme important to the process of digestion is lingual lipase. Lingual lipase is derived from the family of enzyme lipases and it is secreted in very small amounts with the saliva. Lingual lipase, which is composed of aspartate, histidine, and serine, plays a role in another hydrolysis reaction, which is of saturated fatty acids by producing smaller fatty acid chains and diacylglycerol. The salivary glands initiate the process of digestion through the help of enzymes and proteins. This entire process takes place the mouth. Here the food has been chewed, grinded, and acted upon by the saliva produced in the salivary glands. This semi-digested food then travels from the mouth, the first region of digestion, to the stomach, which is the second region of digestion. After the food is swallowed, the stomach continues the process of mechanical digestion. Once the food reaches the stomach, it is targeted by a number of secretions. These secretions are produced by gastric glands, which secrete gastric juices. The gastric juices are chemicals which break down food molecules for absorption into the bloodstream. Enzymes produced by the gastric glands include pepsin, which is initially released as pepsinogen, its inactive form, converted to pepsin by HCL. Gastric lipase is produced by the chief cells in the mucous lining of the stomach. It is involved in the breakdown of fats and oils. It is especially important for babies as it helps emulsify fats in milk. The pancreas is located in a visceral or internal region and is a major part of the digestive system as most of the enzymes required are produced here. It produces pancreatic amylase for carbohydrate digestion, which breaks down starch and glycogen, which are alpha-linked polymers. Humans lack cellulases and cannot digest carbohydrate cellulose, which is a beta-linked glucose polymer. For protein digestion, trypsinogen, which is an inactive protease, is produced by the pancreas. This is converted into its active form in the duodenum and breaks down proteins into basic amino acids. Chymotrypsinogen is also converted into its active form by duodenal and tyrokinase and breaks down proteins to their aromatic amino acids. Carboxypeptidase is a protease which takes off the terminal amino acid group from a protein. Pancreas produces phospholipids to break down phospholipids into fatty acids. These have four major classes. Pancreatic lipase breaks down fat molecules into monoglycerides and free fatty acids. Nucleases are enzymes that break down nucleic acids. Deoxyribonuclease and ribonuclease are enzymes that catalyze the linkages in the DNA and RNA backbones respectively into smaller components. The small intestine is the site of production and release of many enzymes that are essential to digestion. It produces maltase, which is an enzyme released into the small intestine responsible for catalyzing the breakdown of maltose into simple glucose. This reaction releases water. 
Peptidases or proteases are produced in the small intestine and catalyze proteins by breaking down polypeptide chains into amino acids that were linked together by peptide bonds. These enzymes carry out their function within the small intestine lumen. Lactase is an enzyme that is necessary for the breakdown of lactose in dairy products and it is produced in the duodenum of the small intestine. Production of this enzyme usually decreases with age and in some cases where the enzyme is absent leads to a condition known as lactose intolerance. Many of the enzymes produced in the pancreas are released in the small intestine. These include amylases for carbohydrate digestion, trypsin for protein degradation, and lipases for fat digestion.